Good morning. It is Sunday, October the 29th, 2023. Ah, oh, and we have every day good news and bad news. And oftentimes that good news and that bad news is the exact same thing. I know it sounds like a riddle, but it's true. And humanity is being brought to a deeper level of understanding, a higher level of understanding, a higher level of awakening, a higher level of revelation. We are being given eyes to see that the bad news is the good news and the good news can be the bad news if we see it in the lower mind. So what am I saying? The world out here is a reflection of the world in us. The Antichrist is not out here. The Antichrist is in here. The kingdom is not out here. The kingdom is in here. Hamas, what does Hamas mean? Hamas means violence, violence. Hamas is not out here. Hamas is in here. It's easy to focus on the outside world and stay in the outside and project and scream and fight and point a finger and be self-righteous. And we have done that in our religions, in our self-righteousness, in our delusions, in our self-deceptions. But the Holy Spirit is saying, go deeper. Go deeper. There is violence in your heart. There is war raging inside of you. Wars that have been buried and they are surfacing. The kingdom of God is within you. There is an awakening happening throughout the earth. Souls traversing that inner path in the courage and the bravery that takes a look at the inner wars, the inner violence, the inner hatred, the inner self-righteousness, the inner pointer finger, the inner Pharisee, the inner Antichrist, the land and the kingdom of the ego. And it is only that path that is going to lead us through darkness to our personal crosses, to Christ alive in us. It doesn't matter how many followers. We could have thousands of followers. We could stand on pulpits and have tons of people like all our posts, and we can look the part and be beautiful, and it doesn't matter. None of that matters. We cannot lie to spirit. The spiritual laws of God are perfect. This is what Psalm 119 really means. The laws in the unseen realms, they are perfect. They bring everything back to God. And when the books are opened, we are stunned. We are silenced. We are surprised. We are humbled because we projected and we judged and we thought this one and that one. And the message was for us to venture in that we may be given the kingdom. This war is a reflection to us to reveal the hearts of man.
And so we can stay on the outside and all the outward fightings and causes and things we think that we need to pray about. But unless we go in and we really venture that journey with the spirit of God to the depths of the darkness, we are still living on the surface in, this, in these hellish realms of delusion beating the air, fighting causes God never called us to fight. Everything in this universe is about one path and it's the path of our personal soul. And all power flows out of that, all transformation, all love, unity, oneness. The power of God flows through that path not the outward one. Not when we scream on Facebook. Not when we scream on pulpits. And the last shakings of this world system, including religion, is going to take its final blow. And that will be the will of God. Because the message is for the collective. to be one in the love of God's heart. We can only get there by going in every micro moment. And so the world, people are becoming self-aware. People are consciously awakening. People are taking a look at their inner path. We could be looking at the richest religions in the world, doesn't matter. Of course they have the money. Of course they have the money. It is the small pockets, the obscure, the poor, the simple, who are taking that journey and carrying that anointing in the spiritual realms and exuding the power of the kingdom. This is the hour for judgment to fall away. And that judgment starts against ourselves. <clears throat> We're just not aware of it. <clears throat> for with the measure we judge, shall it also be meted and measured back to us. God wants to free all We have been asleep, and this is the hour of awakening. Through great tribulation, we will be given the most profound revelation of Christ in us. If we are not experiencing humbling right now, we are probably living in outer surface layers. We are not doing the deep inner journey yet. if we are not experiencing deep humility, deep humbling, deep revelations of, oh, my God, my God, I'm so humble. I'm so humble. These are the revelations of this hour. If we're not experiencing that we're still living in this outer world, which is false, it is only meant to be a reflection back to us of our inner world and our inner path. And this world is fading away. The ego is the main character of this outer world in which we live, on our soapboxes, on our Facebook pages. Those that are quieting their soul and walking the inner path, becoming still in the presence of the Lord so they can get down 
and see the hells of realm, the realms of hell in which we have produced lower vibrational frequencies in this realm. We have brought realms of hell. No shame. There is only freedom. It will come with humility, though. The world is being humbled. We are being humbled. And this is our greatest gift in this hour. Will an antichrist arise? Probably. Probably, and that will keep many's eyes on the outward. But there are many antichrists screaming from soapboxes to kill, to murder, to annihilate. And these antichrist voices come from within us, from the sound of violence, from the cult of Hamas in us. And that all sounds ugly and dark, but it is darkness that leads us to the kingdom of light. It is darkness, it's the path to hell and haze within ourselves through that ego that lives for this outer world. When we come to the realization that this is not real, it is the unseen realms, the realms of the spirit that are real. When we can put that ego on the cross and we can do away with all of its hangups and its masks and its facades and its accolades, and they are burned up in a second because they're nothing. And our true identity, the image in which we were created in Christ and God, God in us. Yes, God is alive in us. The prana life force of the Holy Spirit lives in us. We can rest in this identity where we no longer war, we no longer hate, we no longer murder, but we rest in love, we rest in non-judgment, we rest in oneness, we rest in the lack of desire for the things in this world. It's a spiritual path. And surprisingly, many who are spiritual are taking it. But many who are religious are focused on this outside world. For the spiritual realms call all things to account, and the spiritual realms are truth. Christ is this continuum of truth, this path that leads us to the ultimate truth through the spiritual path, this higher path. We are responsible for bringing frequencies of hell to this earth. We, are, we rage and we war and we kill and we hate and we add to this frequency, bringing hell, gnashing of teeth, torment. That's the very place the Spirit of God is leading us to. That we may be given the kingdom because we always have the promise of the kingdom. We always have the promise of the kingdom if we will take the path. This is the message of Christ. Come and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. You also must Traverse this path of darkness within yourself. You also must put your ego on the cross, this false character in this world. And you also must come down to hell in Hades within yourself and be given the keys to ascend with me. For I am in you 
and this kingdom is expanded and enlarged and increased through you because you are co-creators with me. Come with intention. Come with pure intention. Come with humble intention that I may give you the kingdom. Be broken before me so that you do not have to break in this world. Either way, I am calling you back home. Until we see the Antichrist revealed in us, we are still in self-deception. We are still in judgment. We are still in self-righteousness. We are still in the wars that are raging in this world, out here. Until we see the Antichrist in us, that is the moment of revelation, you know, like the book of Revelation. And so all these tribulations are meant to reveal that so that we may be taken from glory to glory, from Antichrist to Christ, and lay down the Antichrist of the ego and learn this path continually in Christ, be in Christ. We have blinders on our eyes. My religion was one of the greatest. And I've been humbled over and over and over again as religion falls away and those sh shackles fall and those scales full of the eyes and I see and I am broken before God and humbled and needy. I am quieted. More love comes in for all. For we are all one. So until we reach this antichrist, this Hamas in us, this violence in us, oh, we could get into all the outward deceptions of who created ISIS, who created Hamas, who, who's really behind all this stuff, but it only creates more war. We only become the object of stoning. May we pray to be as Stephen who saw the glory of God and was radiant, radiant with the glory of God, even while he was being stoned. In this radiance, there is no ego. There is no competition. There is no hatred. There is no finger pointing. There is no hypocrisy. There is only oneness in the love of God this one source, this one light, this one father of all. 